Good evening, Blood Bowl fans. This is Gamba, and I am here with Mrs. Gamba to do some Blood Bowl commentary of a very exciting matchup that we have. It is two big teams bumping heads. We have Luminous and his rats, and Horny Cricket, one of the former contenders, or actually former Super Bowl winners, and his lizards. So, this should be a very interesting match since both coaches are very good and both coaches do have a lot to lose since they are probably the top tier of division one either one of them taking a loss could be um, bad that's right cat meow 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 gizmo had a lot to say about that as well she was very excited get out here little girl <coughs> all right it's exciting to see that we do have a star player on the pitch with a giant crab claw. And uh, crab claws are always exciting for two reasons. A, you get to eat them if they die, and B, they have claw. And it's uh, gangrene, so you know that's going to fall off sometime soon in RL. Exactly, which means you can eat it even sooner, because it's a crab. Boil that yep. bitch up, doesn't fucking matter. Pour some butter on that shit, and you've got some good dinner. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, so let's take a quick look, look up the lineups. Uh, <coughs> we got uh, level one line rat. We got a wrestle line rat. We got some level four uh, chipmunk with a plus strength, sidestep, block. Pretty pretty well built. Um, we have a uh, minus movement wrestle piece. We have sidestep block, pretty strong on the gutter runner side. We got another wrestle two heads, this one with horns. Horns are awesome. <coughs> we also have a uh, tackle uh, mighty blow storm vermin. We got a really awesome thrower with leader and uh, block and sure hands. And then we have our star player who's got juggernaut claw and block. He, uh, he is someone definitely be looking at since I think he's the only piece with claw, which will come in handy. And then we got um, horns in reserve, and then we got a dirty player in reserve. Jumping over to horny cricket side, we have a um, awesome stand firm guard Croxador. We have a block guard Saurus. We got a uh, break tackle now with Fury and uh, block Saurus super developed Saurus team uh, tackle break tackle which is going to come in handy especially with all this dodge uh, another tackle block um, guard piece <coughs> block guard and then we got some diving tackle sidestep uh, diving tackle block sidestep block mighty blow and then this stupid skink which is a super stupid fast and this skink too all in all, Horny Cricket's got a super formidable team, and uh, even with the extra inducements, Luminous is going to have a hard time keeping players alive on the pitch. <coughs> Mainly because he's got squishy soft rats, and lizards are less than squishy, especially when they have Mighty Blow and Block and Tackle. Interesting enough, Luminous won the kickoff and chose to kick not to receive. I find that interesting. So and why is that, Mr. Gamba? Um, I would assume he would not want to give away the opportunity to not get punched in the face and have a full team. Well, you know what assuming does. Mm -hmm. It makes an asset of you. Mainly. Mm -hmm. Mainly you. Sometimes Mace me. Mainly, yeah. Yeah. Did that kick come like off the left side of his foot? Like directly oh, left? It's like a 90 degree angle there. Yeah. It's beautiful. Now, uh, as we know, Horny Cricket was season one winner of uh, the Super Bowl. And uh, thus far has played a pretty good season. Unfortunately, we haven't had a lot of coverage on it. I wanted to make sure I covered this game, though, because, uh, like I said, 
Luminous was a contender last year, last year and the year before, I believe. And uh, so was Horny Cricket. So either one of them conceding this game <coughs> is a uh, is a loss that is that will be hard to come back from. Playing it very safe, making sure he's got coverage on the ball so uh, those sneaky gutter runners can't run in there and pick it up. And it looks like he's trying to take out that uh, that star piece, which uh, I do not blame him since that is his biggest threat. <coughs> My least favorite skink currently has the ball. Your least favorite? Why is that? Because he's way too fast. Nine movement, block, sprint. You know, in my book, I would call that my favorite skink. You know, the only good skink is a dead skink. Or one that can maneuver out of death. Maneuver out of death. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you need a, a golden violin to maneuver out of death. <laughs> or the <skate> with nine. <coughs> yeah, nine movement might help a little bit. Well, especially since he's got block and dodge. Yeah, that's my kind of skink right there. I don't know. My favorite skink's the one with dirty player. Now, do you know why uh, it's called what AstroTurf is made out of in Blood Bowl, right? Go on, tell me. The blood and bones of dead players. So does that not make it as soft as normal AstroTurf? No, it makes it hard, apparently. Hmm. That, ob that obviously makes sense. Obviously. So. Bone, blood. blood, marrow, etc., etc. The field we are... Yeah, that's that's the field we are currently playing on is the uh, the tears of uh Horny Cricket's enemies and bones. They forge most of the stadium actually the history on it is of the bones of Horny Cricket's uh past and previous conquest. That's some good history right there. It is, it is. I try to keep everyone up to date with their uh, Blood Bowl history. It's important. Yeah, I love the animations. Mm -hmm. They've gotten so much better as compared to the first. Oh yeah, the first Blibble animations were pretty rubbish compared to this. Mm, right now, Horny Cricket is definitely in uh, what I would say is good positioning, unlike Kayla and her uh, tangled web of. Cables, yeah. <laughs> so much easier because my screen is not up to date. Okay. Do a little side by side commentary then. Jolly cooperation commentary. Well, Guile is definitely in a little bit of trouble now with uh, the chipmunk and uh, <coughs> that crazy storm vermin right there bearing down on him. Yeah. Due to a Vermintide, uh, I'm not very fond of rat people anymore. You were before? I don't know, I thought they could be like soft and cuddly, like like a puppy or a kitten. The rat's dog. So? You don't have to ruin that for me. Well, Vermintide has to sleep good. Well, yeah, it's because there's millions of them and they're trying to murder me. Genocide. Ooh, a little bit of blocky block action there. From the ball carrier. Very nice.
Surprised I haven't seen more uh, blocks out of uh, the star player yet. He really hasn't been able to use them to his uh, full potential. I mean, Luminous's main team may not be super uh, developed, but those rats, those gutter runners he's got are uh, definitely the backbone of his team. Who's the movement on them? Bone stock is nine. On some of his, I think all of them are nine. I think one of them is plus strength. Speedy bastards. They are. They are. One of the fastest pieces in uh, in Blood Bowl. Skinks are right up there with them. And then Wood Elves as well. Except uh, they're a little less squishy than uh, than Skinks. Which is why a lot of people like to turn them into Blitzers. Interesting. It makes sense though. Oh, burn in one of his rerolls. There we go. We got the first KO of the game. That rat is going to go take a little nappy nap. Little nappy nap rat. Bye bye. Bye bye time. Got a little sideline cage forming. I mean, Luminous seems to be in a bit of a pickle. There you go. Yep. You get a nice little cage here. Mm hmm. Stop anyone from dodging in there and pushing them off. Like that, like so. Yeah, like that, like that kind of a push right there. Oh, a nice little uppercut to the face. That's good for you. It builds character. Who needs a full teeth? Uh, you know, all your teeth in your mouth when you're a rat. Oh, and then the wizard assisting with a lightning bolt. Ooh, and Guile getting taken down with an injury, losing one strength. Ooh. Definitely got lucky there. That was a good. Uh, Real good uh, lightning bolt, forced in the uh, the apothecary. Yeah, if you're ever unsure on how to use a wizard, that is exactly how you should use one. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Claw getting used. Here comes that star player. He's a really cool looking guy too. Look at him. I haven't gotten to see too many of the star players. They don't normally come out in in action, so it's kind of fun to see them in the game. I'm gonna call him Jim Carrey from the rest of the game. Why? Jim Carrey, you know, liar, liar, had the claw. The claw. That's terrible. It's gonna be Jim Carrey now. That is terrible. Oh man. He gave him the claw. A good lightning bolt. Let's see if uh, I'm hoping Luminous can really capitalize on it. Unfortunately, that ball is still really in lizard territory. Definitely. But um, gutter runners are known for pulling crazy stuff out of their pants. Well, as are skinks too, though. So you've got quite a quite a wild card with this entire game. No, those gutter runners all have agility four, meaning picking the ball up even with people around it. Yeah, that is a good. Uh... It's it's much easier. Mm -hmm. See, there we go, agility three. Oh, and you still miss. Yep, a fail and a fail. Love it. What do we have? Two twos? Yeah, two twos. That's sad. Such is the blight of no sure hands. And not agility four. See, that's what I'm saying, man. We're gonna see a handoff. And there it is. <coughs> Gutter runner bullshit. To its to its finest its finest degree. Yeah, we would call that redonk. 
also known as elf bullshit, but they're furry elves, so. Well played first drive uh, for Luminous. Oh, here comes the foul, and a well placed foul it is. You gotta, right you gotta take the foul when you have it on a big guy like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and he gets an injury. Badly hurt, but that is definitely gonna put him in a hard position next drive. Losing any one of those big guys really, really, really makes it hard. Well played. None of that. Interesting. Indeed. But I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to try to free up this uh this Saurus to uh put some pressure on the ball carrier, maybe stop the the, the score. Mm, when you're that close, uh, I just no, if he puts them there, you still gotta make a dodge. And nothing tripped him. There we go. What? Now we're all going to gutter runner here. Well, we're probably going to see the dodge out and just into the touchdown at the end of this turn. I would assume so if you're smart. Well, ooh. That was good. Oh! <laughs> That's a double tap there. That, that stinks. That puts, uh, that's what happens. Sometimes you get risky and you don't get to, uh, stall out. Even still, even if, uh, Horny Cricket stops him from scoring, it's a great drive on Luminous's part. Um, because he will be getting the ball in the second half. Jim Carrey's down. Jim Carrey's dead. Oh, oh my god, he killed Jim Carrey. Damn. Shit, I mean like And there goes the star player. He wasn't the best actor, but you didn't have to kill him. Ah, uh, he'll be fine. <laughs> Did you know in the uh, Blood Bowl lore, star players actually aren't even supposed to use your coach is apothecary because they have a staff of apothecaries on the sideline. Their own specific staff. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes, interesting. That's the uh, the official lore. Lore by Gamba. Now what is that? That's a thrower. It's got a little, like, it's a little cannon. Like, yeah, I like yeah. his cannon arm. I love his cannon arm. I don't. It reminds me of Vermintide, but I I do like it. And there's the score. Well played. Even with the uh, loss of the star player, I'd have to say it is um it is well played. Um. And we have one dead. No, one, no injured. one injured, and then one dead. One knocked out. The star player is dead on uh, Luminous's team, and both his knockout players look like they're coming back. A wonderful first drive. All right. 
he is setting up to stop the uh, the one turn go for it With the nine movement, he should be able to... Ooh, an extra bribe for everyone. That's always fun. With the extra movement, he should be able to... Uh, just do a single handoff and run straight down. Well, that's the that's the dream, right? Hopefully. No, no, the dream is getting uh, plus two movement and plus one agility on a skink. That's the dream. <laughs> Hello, puppy. What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. What are you doing? All the animals want to come play Blood Bowl. Look at her. She's very excited for Blood Bowl. Yes, she is. We should, we should give her a mic. She doesn't make very many noises, though. Would you like to do commentary with us? But you don't, so get away from Andrew's computer. Okay, get out of here. Get. Get, good girl. Alright, well, he's definitely in range. Uh. All he's got to do is get that handoff. Make the run. Oh, no, he no went for the foul. Man. I love it. Someone is... Oh, and he's dead. Oh, my God. And that lineman is, uh, is Gonski's. And he uses the bribe they just got. Well played. That was great. You know, I love games with death. A.K.A. Blood Bowl. And it's so hard, sometimes you just can't even play a game with this. You missed it. Death. What a beautiful pass. This game, we have two deaths. Yeah, one of them was from a foul. Someone was a little salty. I love it. That's the, uh... That is the blight of being, um... Armor value 7, though. You are going to get stomped. It's not that low of an armor value. I think my orcs are, what, nine? Uh, armor value, the difference statistically, kids in the audience, between armor value eight and, and uh... Seven. And seven? S sorry, no. The statistical value is literally 50% chance of armor break for seven, and it's like 32% for eight, and then it's somewhere in the teens for nine. That's ridiculous. Um, nope, that's the statistics. You mean the, uh, the dice gods and their rolling? Yes, his name is Nuffle. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a son of a bitch. Whoa. He is such a son of a bitch. He will, he will bring down your houses. You cannot talk to him like that. Maybe that's why I lost all the time. Yeah, it had nothing to do with skill or anything. It, no skill, it was all the... Son of a bitch's nuffle. <laughs> Damn, that's harsh, harsh words. For a harsh god. Well, we are going into halftime now, and uh, all the uh, all the knocked out players are uh, back, and. Um, it looks like all we have is the bye bye time crocs. All right. <coughs> So while Kayla goes and takes care of beating up the cats, I will continue commentary solo.
So it's a shame to see the uh, one piece that could do anything about this high armor value just being removed from the pitch. Because um, now, uh, <coughs> he pretty much has got no way to take out any more of the, uh, the Sauruses, and that's sad. But he's still got a bribe for some good old Fallon. And he's still got uh, his apothecary, so. At least he's got a good chance of keeping alive his star players. The real question is is he going to try to score early and just uh, drive up his lead? Or try to stall out? and then score at the end of the game and go for the nice 2-0 victory. Now the answer is he's going to punch sources while they're down in the balls. Mm, and making good use of that bribe, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kayla approves. She's sitting here with her thumbs up like, yes, more blood for the blood god. And that is why they call Blood Bowl. Otherwise, it would be called Super Super Hug Hug Love Time Bowl. And that would be, uh, much. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> Hello Kitty Island Adventure, which would be much less fun. I thoroughly enjoy the extra gratuitous violence. <coughs> Pardon me. Luminous doing a really good job limiting how many blocks that, uh,. Horny Cricket's going to be able to drive up. <coughs> and Luminous playing just a very uh, all-around smart game. Trying to protect his assets. And tactically fouling when he can. Ooh! And there goes their star player eating the dirt. Damn, Snake Eyes with a free reroll. Must be nice to have block on your skinks. I never knew what that was like. Alright. Getting some ski skin cut in action. And a line rat just tearing into him. Falling back. I don't really see any uh any good players out in good position to score. did not notice that he had no one on him, so he's going to get it and run to the end zone. And there's the touchdown. Putting a pretty big lead up for Luminous. Which is a smart way to do it, since uh, he is bleeding players and does not, who knows how much longer he will have all of his... Uh, Gunner runners on the the pitch to maintain doing awesome touchdowns. All right, we got two dead, none knocked out, but it's still I believe that's a full bench. I believe we still have a full bench of 11 on, t pl on the play. Alright. No bribes left for either team, unfortunately. And, uh... 
Cricket's already used one of his rerolls. He's going to have to score pretty quick and then force a turnover if he wants a chance to tie this up. Which fortunately for him is very plausible as seeing as he's got pretty amazing skinks and all of them still left on the pitch. getting some nice hits. Really curious to see why uh, the thrower was put up on the line. But I know Luminous is a smart coach and he probably had his reasons. Got one skink down in a uh, scoring position. All alone so definitely going to see him get probably gang banged. And a nice, wonderful punch to the face on that rat. Alright, good pickup by Guile. Horny Cricket Star playing Skink. Or, uh, yeah, Skink. Ah, the backup Skink. Good old backup Skink. Best Skink name ever. Getting a three die dice plock to the face. And there he goes. He is out of there. A nice badly hurt. Taken off the pitch. Luminous playing super aggressive with his uh, with his Ratman, and it is really paying off for him. <coughs> Horny Cricket burning through another reroll on a frenzy. And I see a good little spot here if he could shift over some sore support he could get a little maneuver and run right up here and maybe get that first touchdown in he's just gonna have to do it quick yep shifting some ground Good position that he's in. He's got a skink and scoring position that he can use as bait, and then uh, Guile's not too far off from being in touchdown zone himself. Damn, these rats are out for blood. They are throwing everything they got at the sources. Normally that is not my favorite or what I would think is the best tactic is to hunt down sources, but he has been able to isolate them, which is great, making it really hard for them to uh, protect the skinks. Great play using uh, <coughs> his gutter runner to get through that empty hole of the cage. and freeing the ball up. And he just is running through the cage. Two heads that does not care with four agility. Unfortunately slips on his own tail and falls. And going for the reroll. And unfortunately can't get the ball. 
But good play overall. Solid play. Just able to screep right through. I believe Lemmy Drax has actually been nominated on the bounty board with his head wanted for blood. Ooh, and then we got another death. The crowd claims this one. A beautiful surf and another line rat meets his uh meets his demise. What a nice bloody game we've had. Plenty of fouling and fun for the whole family. Alright, we got a pick up. Gonna see a, a skink pass, yep. Fortunately doesn't quite pan out the way he needs it to. They normally never do. Skinks are definitely not known for their passing game. Alright, these rats ganging up on this poor Saurus, knocking him down. Covering up these skinks to stop the touchdown. And I can't wait to see the next chain uh, dodges from uh, Lemmy Drops. Nice block by a line rat. And that ball is free to be picked up and it is grabbed. Oh, here comes a short pass. Ooh, and an interception by a Saurus. Oh man. We got a Nat 6 on the play. He was not expecting that to happen. That is a... That Soros is now definitely the MVP by far. Alright. Oh, unfortunately burns through his reroll, gets a double, uh, double both down. But the source still got the ball, and Lemmy Drinks is uh, stunned on the play. I think what we are seeing the attempt is the source to do a run up and a handoff. But I don't know if he's going to get the chance to do so with his gang block. Oh, uh, unfortunately not. Still a beautiful play. And the ball is recovered, and he is just making his move for the next touchdown. That is definitely one to go down in the uh, in the playbooks right there. The old Soros interception. Well, normally you can't say it's over until the fat lady sings, but we are winding down here, folks. It has been so far a wonderful bloody game, but I don't think that Horny Creek is going to be able to uh, come back and score two touchdowns in the next three turns. But what he can do is definitely smash some rats. Shifting some players around, going for uh, going for the blitz, seeing if he can stop it. Oh, he can't. 
getting a little bit of pressure on the ball at least. There is a chance he can roll a one. Ooh, sidestep being a bitch. Love it. Dodging out, scoring a touchdown, 3-0. Lumen is being a touchdown machine tonight. Alright, last couple turns here. Still possible for Horny to get a point up on the board and keep this from being a shutout. It is also still possible for him to do some more murdering. Got a nice quick snap. Pushing everyone up a little bit. Can already see the plan is uh, get these skinks up in scoring position, and that'll give them some options on what to do. He's got no rerolls left, so the failed pickup could really throw him off. Or a bad block dice. So he's got two scoring threats out there. Someone just trying to tie up some of those rats. We're going to see another block. A little pushy push, nice little soft push. And a nice punch to the face. Okay, here comes the pickup. And he's got it. Let's see what Loomis does. Ooh. Another big blow to a skink. trying to get some coverage on these skinks. I mean, I'm already guaranteeing that he's probably going to be going to the right, so I'm going to see. Curious to see if he's, that's where he's going to throw most of his pressure. Yep. Ooh, and unfortunately, no dice. Failed going for it. Alright, there goes another block. Curious to see what the uh, the setups for, being that it's the last turn. Oh, going for a three die. Yep, going for the three die. 
Big hit on let me drops. Nope. He stays good. He stays true. Ooh. And the no reroll comes and bites him in the ass. And that's it. That's the turnover. 3 0. Big shutout. Star player who's dead gets the MVP. That is harsh. And uh, level 2 skink on the other side. Uh, <coughs> super fun game. Really awesome. Glad to watch it. I know it didn't quite go uh, horny cricket's way, but I still think both teams, obviously, being this early in the season, have a great chance of going to playoffs. Um, so he might be able to get his revenge in playoffs. Uh, great SPP spread over on uh, the pastry pest, and uh, not so bad on cricket's or horny. But golly gee, Willikers, what a fun game! Alright guys, I will catch you all on the flippy flop.